As long as we think of matter as being smooth and continuous, as it appears to our naked eye, there are many things in the world that are very hard to explain. It's only when we make the conceptual jump to the idea that matter is made of very, very tiny lumps called molecules that many of these things become explicable. The molecular model is very, very simple. It just says that there are these tiny particles, they're molecules, that uh, different kinds of materials are made of different uh, molecules, that the molecules are in constant motion, and that as they move, they move in accordance with Newton's laws of motion, and in accordance with the force laws and the laws of conservation that uh, uh, guide the motion of things in the world. Now, it's very seldom, uh, you can explain many things uh, just on the basis of these molecules being tiny spheres. Uh, the shape of the molecule for most purposes is not important. However, there are some things um, that are hard to explain unless the molecules themselves have a shape. Let me show you something that's uh, kind of uh, surprising. You may recall that uh, when we talked about the, the basic uh, uh, ideas of electricity that we said that when you rub this uh, rubber or plastic rod with a piece of fur, the rod becomes charged. And in fact, the rod becomes negatively charged. So I imagine this uh, uh, rod now covered with some extra electrons was negatively charged. Out of the tap here, I have uh, allowed a little streamlet of water to flow. And uh, watch what happens when I bring this negatively charged rod close to that streamlet of water. In fact, there's a force exerted on the streamlet of water by the charged rod. And since it attracts the, uh, the, uh, the streamlet of water, it's some kind of a pull. Now let's uh, for a moment frame some kind of a hypothesis to explain what's happened. It might be that somehow as the water flows through the pipe, it becomes positively charged. Remember, positive and neg negative charges attract one another. So when we bring the negative uh, rod near that perhaps positively charged flow of water, uh, there's a pull. Now there's a way of testing that idea to see whether that is true or false. And that's to take a glass rod, rub it with a piece of vinyl, and uh, when that happens, the rod this time, the glass rod, rather than become negatively charged, becomes positively charged. Now our hypothesis is that this streamlet of water somehow became positively charged. And so I bring the positively charged rod next to the streamlet of water, expecting that it will also exert a force and that it ought to be repulsive. But when I bring it close, again, there's an attractive force. So my hypothesis is false. Um, the streamlet of water is not positively charged. So I have to look for some kind of other explanation for where that force is coming from that attracts that streamlet of water. What if the molecules of water had a shape Sometimes when we see them represented in a book, they're sometimes uh, drawn uh, in a shape that looks a little bit like Mickey Mouse's head. Uh, there are ears, and here's Mickey's other ear, and then down in through here is Mickey's uh, face and, and chin. And what if in that molecule, although it might be neutral, that is not a charged object overall, what if there are parts of the molecule that are more positively charged and parts of the molecule that are more negatively charged, even though the overall charge uh, is zero, it's neutral? Well, what if Mickey's uh, little ears here are positively charged, or at least carry a little more positive charge, and what if Mickey's little chin down here is negatively charged? What if the charge is distributed like that in this molecule with shape? Now, if I put the negatively charged rubber rod down near the molecules of water, the ears, with their positive charge, will swing towards the negative charge, being more strongly attracted, and the streamlet of water will be attracted to the, to the negatively charged rod. But 
if I put the positively charged rod next to the molecules, then the chins will swing around, they being negatively charged and now attracted to the positively charged glass rod, and again, the streamlet of water will be drawn towards the charged rod. So here's an evidence that molecules, these tiny, tiny things, smaller than, than we can see, even sometimes with the best of microscopes, that these tiny little molecules have a shape and that they have charged parts within that shape. 